Okay, this morning we are making some a pasta dish for an event we're having at church. And it's going to be pasta with sausages and broccoli and like a cream sauce. So this is just the preliminary. I got the water boiling, or not boiling, but on the boil for the uh, pasta. I got the first round of sausages browning up in the pan. And I got the broccoli, which I'm going to pre-roast and then add to the mixture later. All right, we got the first round of sausage cooling, the second round cooking. I got the roasted garlic I'm going to put away and use for something else. This is all I need right here. I chopped it up and I'm going to add it to the pasta. And I can't do that because I need two hands and I can't hold the camera. And the mount broke for the tripod. So I'm going to shut it off and I'm going to add the broccoli to the pasta. Okay, so the first batch, batch of sausage is cooled. And we're going to cut them up. What I like to do is cut them on an angle. Just like that. Probably rinse the broccoli off my knife. Not that it's going to matter, it all goes in the same place, but just for looks. Now, this is going to all get mixed in the pasta, so I'm not too particular about it. But what I probably should do is put it in the fridge and let it cool so that it doesn't like shred like this and actually I think I am going to do that so stand by. Hi folks we're back I cut and added the sausage to the pasta and the broccoli now I'm going to make the sauce got a little extra virgin olive oil heating up I cut as soon as I could so a couple cloves of garlic and I'm going to add that to the oil and I like to get them so that they're brown and a little bit of crunchy. Just the way I like it. You can do it any way you want. Cooking is an art, not a science. There's no right or wrong way. It's however you like it. So. Alright, we're back. <laughs> a quick camera change. So that's actually just about where I want it. Show you that's just about what we want there. I'm gonna reduce the heat, take it off for a second, reduce the heat way down, and I'm gonna add a little heavy cream. I'm gonna wait for that to settle just a second. Now the cheese, you know, it's always good to use quality products. So use extra virgin olive oil, um, fresh garlic. This cheese, okay, is not stop and chop cheese, even though that's what it says. My wife buys the Parmesan cheese in the bag at the deli, at the cheese counter. And we just pour it in here because of the shake top. And it's just convenient to use on the table and stuff. So just so you, if you see this, you realize we're not using stop and chop Parmesan cheese. Certain things, and I use stop and chop brand for a lot of things, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. But cheese is one of those things where you really want to use the good stuff. It makes a big difference. I'm going to add in a little cream. Put it down to a simmer. And add the whole pint. Let that come up. I got two pints. I'm not sure that I'm going to need that. going to heat this up and turn this back up just a hair just infuse that oil and garlic in with it and get it to a decent little heat and then I'm going to add the cheese and just toss it and add it to the pasta which is in this pot so stay tuned okay we're back Ended up add, adding both the pints. Not sure if I really needed them, but 
I didn't want it to go bad. I didn't really have anything else to use it for, so I added them. So I got it to where it's just kind of simmering. I'm going to add some of the cheese in. Stir at the same time. Actually, I should do it with this hand because I'm right-handed. Let's see what that looks like. Now this is just a matter of getting it as thick and cheesy as you want. I don't want it quite as thick as like mac and cheese. I want it a little runny, but not real runny. So I'm just going to simmer this in until I get it. With this much cream, I probably should have a pan with like another inch or two high side, but I'm going to make this work. And I might just end up using all this cheese. I think I'm going to. I want to make sure the cheese doesn't clump, so I'll stir it in little pockets here. Just kind of crunch them down. No, I could add butter and whatnot. I'm not gonna. We got enough milk fat in here to kill a horse. Put the pasta over, and I'm just gonna add this to the pasta. Now, one thing that I usually do, and I don't care for the texture too much of them, but I love the flavor it gives, is um, anchovies. And so, bring this up a little here. So, you know, I didn't realize till the last minute that I didn't have any anchovies. So my wife is out running errands and doing different things, and I texted her, and she's going to stop and pick me up some anchovies. So normally, even though it didn't show in the dish as I made it, when I did the garlic, and again I sliced the garlic as thin as possible, and some chunks I leave a little bigger, if I was doing like an angel hair, I would actually slice it off with a razor and get it so thin that it would almost like dissolve in the oil. For this, I like it thin but not quite that thin. I want it to, you know, I want the texture of the crunchy garlic. So I, I just did it with a knife as thin as I can. And at that time, I would have taken the anchovies. And again, you know, it's an art, not a science, right? So you can put two strips of anchovies, you can put the whole jar. I mean, it depends what you want. i probably use, for two pounds of pasta in this dish, maybe eight to ten little pieces of anchovy. And what I do is I cut it up really small. And I put it, I add it with the garlic into that hot oil so that the anchovies, because I, I don't care for the texture of the anchovies, so I don't, and in this mix with the cheese, you probably wouldn't notice it anyway, but I like to dissolve the anchovies almost to nothing, so it almost just liquefies in the oil. And the flavor infuses, but you're really not left with, like, biting into an anchovy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Some people like that, and that's fine. So, I'm just going to dish out a little here to show you. I have the stirring spoon. I don't really have a serving spoon. And so, I could make the presentation a little better, but well, there it is. Actually, I'm going to tilt the camera, not the dish. There it is. Pasta with cheese and cream sauce with broccoli and sausage. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, if you please. God bless you.